Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. And here we have Inter against Manchester. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Two starting lineups. Got things on the way. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Uh, it's got to be the very flexible Raheem Sterling. Uh, from centre forward to wing back. Goal! Inter! Unbelievable. Listen, scoring early doesn't guarantee you anything, but the first goal was always important, and that's a terrific open. Quite exquisite, brilliantly dispatched. Look, you can end up looking a bit silly if you don't make the right connection on the volley, but he met that cross perfectly. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Korov. Sterling. Looking up to see who wants it. Fernandinho. Zabaleta. Manchester desperately needs someone to hold up the ball here. And it's Zabaleta. It's come loose. Jeffrey Condogbia. They scored inside the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Zabaleta. Tries a long pass towards the front. Tries a through ball. This could fall anywhere. And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. OK, they've got nothing to show for it, but that was a really incisive counter-attack, and it's hard to defend against that type of breakaway. Ada, a scorer already in the game. Poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Palacio is fouled. And Icardi! That is brilliant, Mauro Icardi! And they are disappearing out of sight.
Inter Milan take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. We can get that clear. Sterling. Fernandinho. Yaya Toure. Now it's Aguero. Into Milan, are leading with half-time drawing close. Palacio kings it out wide. D'Ambrosio goes for the cross. Silva. Fernandinho. Kolarov. Felipe Melo passes it through. Aimed in towards the centre. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Into Milan, ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. Second half. Zabaleta. Otamendi. Fernandinho. Silva. Fernandinho. Now it's Aguero. Looks like a good ball through. What an adventurous run from a defender. the shot away this ball who's gonna get that reckless challenge he could be in trouble here into Milan have conceded a penalty and that's gonna be a booking uh, look at the newsman and dismay from the culprit but the referee clearly thinks there was enough there for a penalty Get a better chance than that. I'm not one of them, but there are people who believe you should never miss from the spot. The game takes on a whole new complexion. Great corner, and he did the rest. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half just to give them the confidence and belief to push on and look for an equaliser. Well, that goal really has stirred things up. The cat right amongst the pigeons now. Yeah, Peter, the, the cushion is gone and it may get a little bumpier over the next few minutes, but it doesn't have to mean a momentum switch. If they can gather themselves quickly, they could hit back. Felipe Melo. Nice ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Ball's gone out of play. That's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. 
into Milan to make a change here. Yaya Toure. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Should have put that one away. Yeah, he could have made the game safe had he converted that. Such a big disappointment. Oh, you could tell he really wanted that. Well, he's certainly a player I'd be more than happy to watch. Tactically, he's almost impossible to stop. Zabaleta. Zabaleta looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Yaya Toure. Sterling. Kolarov. It's a throw. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. It's Silva! Saved only by poor finishing. Into Milan, just have to run down the clock. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. Sterling! It's a carbon copy of his previous miss. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can convert a string of very decent opportunities. Laying on, they need to be pushing forward if they're going to get a result. It really is now, and it time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch, just one between them. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, I think when you score with your first effort and goal, there's a good chance that things are uh, going to go your way for the rest of the game. And to be fair, they used the impetus it gave them to gain a level of control, and I think they went on and deserved to win. With that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.